canal drained for the first time in 200 years. After they find this, the cops are immediately called. A crowd is gathered on a cloudy day to observe what's going on at the Canal Saint-Martin in Paris. Everyone was unable to take their gaze away from the scene unfolding in front of them. They all wanted to see the murky waters recede as the authorities drain the river. What had been lurking in the canal's waters all this time? They discovered things about the canal after two centuries that they hadn't anticipated in the least. What did they find down there exactly? As the murky waters receded, the authorities took a look. It's not every day you discover the secrets of the ocean's depths. As the building's floor became visible, residents learned about a new chapter in the city's history. Let's just say none of them expected to come across what they did. The canal is 4.5 kilometers in length and built after Napoleon Bonaparte gave his approval to the project. It was built primarily to provide safe drinking water to Paris's 550,000 residents. However, he was well aware that the population would almost certainly continue to grow in the future. Furthermore, Napoleon hoped that access to clean water would help control the city's health issues. Back then, there were numerous reports of cholera and dysentery. The Canal Saint-Martin encircles the city for nearly three miles. It also delivered food and building materials to Parisians all over the city at the time. Two canals were built with the same purpose in the decades that followed. The Canal Saint-Denis and the Canal de Lourdes were built by the authorities. The latter was 3.4 meters wide and 108 kilometers long. It ran from port au perche to Bassin de la Villette, where it joined the Canal Saint-Martin. It's best if you remember they're all a few hundred years old. The Canal Saint-Martin is the most well-known of the three. From the Bassin de l'Arsenal to the Place de la Bastille, it ran beneath the ground. Many people are familiar with the latter as the site of pivotal events during the French Revolution, which took place from 1789 to 1799. This was the scene of an unexpected attack on the prison. As you can see, it was a long and illustrious history. It was for this reason people were eager to see what lay beneath the surface. The canal is now a popular hangout for both locals and tourists. Young Parisians frequently congregate on the banks of the Seine and in the nearby cafes. Tourists, on the other hand, prefer to photograph landmarks and bridge. But why did the authorities decide to drain the water from it in the first place? The canal has certainly seen a lot of changes in two centuries of existence. Every 10 to 15 years, authorities attempt to empty it. They'd get rid of everything accumulated at the bottom. This was not, however, a routine cleanup. What was about it that was different? Paris, also known as the City of Light, hides many big secrets. The murky waters of this canal obscured some of them. What lay beneath the beloved Canal Saint-Martin piqued the interest of Parisians. The draining operation was being observed from afar, and what would they find if they went there? The canal was drained for the first time in 2001. They were able to remove over 40 tons of waste from the water at the time. Bullets, bombshells, and gold pennies from the First World War were among the fascinating finds. Not only that, but they also discovered a car from the same period. It's been a long time since that happened. What else might they come across in the water? The massive task of draining the canal began. It would take three months to remove approximately 3 million cubic feet of water. Although the city had to spend more than $10 million on this, it was necessary. The crowd was eager to find out what had been hidden this entire time. They drained the canal's remaining water on January 7th. After 15 years, the waterway secrets were finally being revealed. The bridges attracted people from all walks of life who wanted to look into what the authorities had discovered. Curiosity was killing everyone. It had to have been a huge occasion. After all, it's not every day that you get to see the Canal Saint-Martin without any water. People couldn't believe what they were witnessing. The sight of the canal's bottom was surreal. They were all curious about what was on the canal's floor. The workers had to drain the canal until only 50 centimeters of water remained. They waded through it, searching for items and living things that had taken up residence there. Around five tons of carp, trout, and bream were caught by the working crew. They then relocated the fish to better breeding grounds. Before relocating it, though, they carefully weighed and identified all of it. Even though the new location wouldn't be ideal, it was still preferable to the alternative. Various common objects found their way into the water's depths. Among other things, there were bicycles. They turned out to be from the city's Vélib car-sharing system. Around 14,500 bikes were added to the city's streets as part of the program in 2007. Unfortunately, many ended up in strange places. More items surfaced as the drainage process progressed. At the bottom of the canal, there were mopeds, bicycles, and wheelie bins. There was a toilet down there as well. It was critical to recover the items because they contributed to the canal's murkiness. Its presence there was thought to be amusing, but, but this was not, however, the only unexpected find down there. They also discovered bigger things at the bottom. It's like some weird submarine treasure, Mark, a witness shared with a guardian, added. He added, I can't believe the quantity of Velibs in there. Guess they were stolen and thrown in afterwards. It's bizarre. Furthermore, bicycles weren't the only strange objects that found their way to the bottom. That's Paris for you, an onlooker called Bernard said. It's filthy. It appears to have gotten worse in recent years, too. 
He was also present at the previous draining in 2001. The last time I don't remember seeing so much rubbish in it, he shared. I despair, the youth are using it as a dustbin. Wait until you hear that they also recovered a pair of motorcycles from down there if you thought bicycles were strange. Who knows how those items came to be there? We're hoping someone will come forward and tell us the story behind them. But from there, things only got weirder and weirder. Of course, they didn't only find living creatures and things down there. There were also items that were expected. Shopping bags, traffic cones, and glass bottles all examples. These findings didn't quite seem to pique anyone's interest. Everyone was eager to discuss the unusual ones. For starters, none of them knew how an office chair ended up there. The witnesses were skeptical of the discovery. Is it possible that an office worker took this to the 10th arrondissement? The theory may appear absurd to you, but it made us smile just thinking about it. Developing theories about how these things got here is a lot of fun. Another interesting item emerged from beneath the murkiness as they drained the water even more. At the canal's bottom, they discovered a rather revolting suitcase. Another odd item that has people scratching their heads is this one. This traffic cone has no choice but to be retrieved from the canal's base by a crew member. Who could have placed it there? We're betting on a vandal who felt compelled to dispose of the evidence as soon as possible. In the Canal Saint-Martin, there was also a shopping trolley. This piqued people's interest in the story. After loading their bags into the car, did a shopper accidentally push it into the canal? In any case, we can deduce from this that Paris is an excellent shopping destination. Workers continued to drain the water from the Canal Saint-Martin till only 20 inches remained, and they got the fish to safety. The cleanup crew spent three days in the water catching the carp, trout, and bream, and they captured them and relocated them to a different section. Even though seeing all the trash in the canal was disheartening, there is still hope. The discoveries brought attention to the city's litter room problem. Authorities used the opportunity to talk about the situation. If everyone mucks in and avoids throwing anything into the water, said Celia Blowell when she spoke to the Mail Online, we may be able to swim in the canal in a few years. She is the deputy mayor. No one would have realized how serious the problem was if the waterway hadn't been drained. The truth is, the canal area is regarded as prime real estate. The Parisians had to pay a high price for it. Only real estate properties located along with the arrondissement command prices as high as 9,000. The waterways always looked lush and aesthetically pleasing, contributing to the high cost of the real estate there is. In fact, it served as an inspiration to a number of artists. Street art can be found on the canal bank walls, and the bank has a large multimedia space dedicated to works of art. All three canals were dug across the length of Paris over the course of two decades, to make up a total of more than 80 miles when combined. The most well-known of the three is the Canal Saint-Martin. It runs for 68 miles and connects the Seine River and the Canal de l'Ourc. Since its inception, the Canal Saint-Martin has attracted both Parisians and tourists. It's always been a place with a unique allure. They're all given a look at the badges, and they could also navigate through all the locks and road bridges along the way. If you're familiar with Paris, you're probably aware the Canal Saint-Martin neighborhood has a vibrant nightlife scene. The district, once quiet, would attract a large number of young people. Many people assumed this would only result in more waste in the canal. They discovered if this was the case in 2016. On Napoleon's orders, the canal's constructions began in 1802, and Paris's population was around 550,000 at the time. The number didn't appear to be going down anytime soon, and Napoleon believed the waterway would bring fresh water to the city and improve the residents' health. What was the object that piqued your interest the most? They discovered chairs, shopping carts, suitcases, trash cans, toilets, bicycles, and motorcycles at the bottom, just in case you forgot. A vintage stereo was also on the floor in addition to the previously mentioned items. You never know what you'll find when you go there. They discovered a lot of cans and bottles while draining the water out of the Canal Saint-Martin. Do you have any idea how many there were? We have our doubts that you correctly answered the question. They found hundreds of thousands of these things down there after all. The Canal Saint-Martin, which runs through the heart of the capital, is three miles long. It runs through the 10th arrondissement, which is best known for being a fashion-forward neighborhood. The area has recently gained popularity for its nightlife and tourist attractions. It's a must-see on your next visit to the city of light. More and more items were unearthed and discovered in the murky waters as crowds gathered by the canal to get a good look at what was going on. Once every 10 to 15 years, the canal is drained and cleaned, giving the public plenty of time to toss, lose, and drop all kinds of strange items into the water. An old-school stereo sunken on the muddy ground here. We're left wondering who lost this one. It's understandable the locals would be interested in learning more about the draining and cleaning process. After all, who wouldn't be? Onlookers gathered around the canal as workers continued their work, watching the whole thing unfold. Maybe Parisians were looking for a long-lost item in the midst of the chaos? Maybe they were just looking for a relaxing form of entertainment that included some time spent outside? We're sure we'd enjoy watching such an event. Even though this procedure is repeated fairly frequently, given the canal's age, vintage items such as this camera are still discovered during the cleaning. 
It's perplexing to consider how these items came to be at the bottom of it in the first place, especially given that they predate the canal's last cleaning. People, for all we know, drop things in the canal on a regular basis, intentionally or not. Somehow, there are always items discovered that are older than expected. As the canal's 90,000 cubic meters of water are drained, more and more items appear and are discovered. You'd expect to find old and filthy items, and you'd be right. There were, however, some other more surprising discoveries. Take, for example, this stuffed animal. It appears to be relatively new in comparison to everything else we've seen so far. The contrast between the almost clean stuffed animal and the grimy motorcycle beneath it is almost chilling. If you ask us, this photo paints a complete picture. To be honest, you could make an entire story out of it. The muddy chair submerged in the murky water, completely covered in moss, when you think about it, it's quite haunting. Again, our thoughts stray to various scenarios that could have resulted in this chair being thrown into the canal in the first place. Could it have been a tense situation? A tragic accident? There are so many options. Workers must spend hours making sure everything's going according to plan as the water slowly drained into the river set. From relocating fish that had gone into the canal to completely renovating the canal's four double locks. Of course, any worn out small parts must be replaced as well. The entire procedure would take about three months from start to finish. Given the scope of this project, it's only natural that a large number of people are involved. As can be seen in this photo, dozens if not hundreds of workers are involved in ensuring that everything's completed correctly and efficiently, not to mention without jeopardizing anyone's safety. While machinery is used for the majority of the project, individuals are also responsible for a number of tasks their equipment can not complete. It's a risky process to go through because so many things can go wrong at any time, and this is the first time it's been drained since 2001. It's understandable that such an event would be exciting, given that it occurs once every decade or so. To take on such a massive task, the workers made numerous preparations. It's not easy for the municipality to acquire all the necessary machinery and equipment.